Zero has a lot of master knowledge, but he's he's pretty smart. Just his neutral's pretty good too. Yeah, he's getting really really fast with his character. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Actually, super important. You know, Ooh. when you're especially when you're first starting out with the game, like people are like asking me like, hey, you know, like how do I do this matchup? How do I do that matchup? Or whatever. And it's like realistically, you just need to practice your character's tech skill and fundamentals because mm -hmm. that's gonna carry you through every matchup. So. But no one wants to do that. They just want to learn the flashy stuff. <laughs> right. And as fast as possible. Exactly. Or like the really really nuancey things. Yeah. Like, oh well. In this specific matchup against Samus, if you jump out there on the, you know, the down, the bottom part of FB, and I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, could be a huge combo. Oh, he tries to jump out there for him. That's a that's a tough thing, right? When you're when you're Falcon, like, you you do a hit and you're like not sure if it's gonna be able to combo into it itself yeah. or not. So you kind of jump out there, but then like do the double jump back. Yeah, if exactly. If they di out and you notice it. Oh, Ooh. that was such a nice back air. Yeah, I was not that expecting was, that. That was really good. That was a super important pivot, too. Another to good that. thing um, I've seen Android Zero improve on a lot is this use of shield stops. Yeah, that's huge. That's, that's something that, um, actually, I feel like very few uh, players do, especially in San Diego. Mm -hmm. So it's really good to use. Ooh. So what do you think of Mythos going back here? I. I think it's fine for the most part, but at the same time, maybe there's like a better stage you gotta go into. I would think he banned Yoshi's. Um, or no, no, no. Probably Fountain. Fountain. Yeah, I totally slipped my mind. So I'm thinking like Yoshi's might have been a, an interesting choice in particular, but this isn't the worst in the world mm -hmm. to like go back to. But I don't know. Yeah, I feel like for me, I usually try to avoid the stages I just lost on. So it's kind of like a fresh start. Yeah. But, I mean, you probably don't have too many options in this matchup. Yeah, you definitely can't go to FD. Um, well, yeah, as Ganon. You can't yeah. go to uh, Stadium. Mm -mm. You might be able to go to Dreamland if, like, you know that survivability is, like, what you need. I don't think he needs that here, though. Exactly. So I'm not sure. I, I, I guess this is fine. This yeah. or Yoshi's, really. The, the real downside to Yoshi's is that you die super fast. And as like a heavy character, you don't really want to die that fast. Yeah. So Falcon kind of dies at it, the same percent anyways. Ooh, goes for the read with the stomp. I don't think he's gotten one yet, which is probably very frustrating. Yeah. The stomp reads. And I don't know how I feel about stomp reads especially. Like I think that a forward a forward throw or sorry, forward air or back air might be a little bit better um, at the percent that uh, Android Zero is at. Mm-hmm. Because realistically, if you're Ganon, like you just wanna get Falcon off the stage and then do something after that. This is a nice back air. Oh, just holds ledge. That was interesting. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's good. Um, that's 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 something against like you can kind of use it against Falcon and Ganon um, and a couple other characters. Mm -hmm. uh, Sheik as well. Yes. Wait for the feet to hit the ground before you come up, and like it's kind of like a a confirm. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. Yeah. I want to see a game three. I think it's pretty possible and pretty doable. Um, it's all up to, to Android Zero getting a a nice solid like pop up move of some sort. This might be the pop up he's looking for. Uh, no jump. Okay, okay, interesting. Somebody's got it Ooh. to use it. Ooh, dang, that's close. And see, now we see Mythos kind of going for the uh, the forward air there mm -hmm. just to get him to the edge. Only one or two more hits for Falcon to get, like, edge guarded, basically. Ooh. Crazy air dodge. There it is. Oh. Yep. <laughs> just, like, took, took three real hits to get him out there. That was good. That was super good. Yeah. One That's to get him to the edge. One to get him a little bit closer to the offstage, and then after he's got no jump, hit him Sealed more. Sealed the deal. Yeah.
That's not an nice. easy thing to do in that matchup. Exactly. And that much of a deficit. Yeah, and especially because, like, Android Zero could have just come up with an extra, like, up air or forward air or something like yeah. that and killed him. So, I don't know where he'll go. I think he'll go. Yeah, okay, Stadium makes sense. He probably took away FD, since yeah. FD is just, like, super hard combo food for uh, Falcon against Ganon. Um, that being said, I don't I don't think Stadium's that much better um, of a stage for Ganon, so it's kind of going to be tough either way, no matter what you ban. But. And there's the tech chasing we're talking about that uh, UCF is helping him with a bit. Ooh, he did it. The a, shield yeah, stop. the shield stop forward. He's so good at it. That's so good. And something, something that's, I, I, I don't know if anybody or if uh, people notice this too much, but like when you're playing against somebody who can hack stash a lot, like safely and consistent, consistently, it's actually pretty tif difficult to figure out when they're gonna come up from the ledge, you know, <laughs> especially like a Marth or a Falcon. Um, it's it's really difficult to find out whether they're gonna do like a double jump or they're just gonna go back to the ledge or they're gonna try to come on stage or whatever. So it makes it so that you either have to like hard guess or you have to. Uh, just kind of be ready for everything, mm -hmm. or or just yield the stage. Yeah, but. it's yeah. It can be frustrating because it's like, when the heck is he gonna do something? Right. And it can be any time. Exactly. Oh, okay, windmill nice. is tough. To, yeah. To, to do something about a lot of times. I'm glad Mentos used it though, because yeah, he had to right there. It was super smart, and it was it was a weird position where it's like he was also rising after he did he landed, mm -hmm. so he kind of had a little extra bit of time to to get um, out of his lag. Oh, just barely misses the knee. Mentos in a in a tricky spot. Mm. I think Mythos can pull this back. Um, he needs to get a clean stock right now and then um, get another stock without losing like more than maybe 60 or 70%. Mm -hmm. And he'll be in an okay spot at least. Looking looking for the forward air there. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, that was a nice down B. That's a good counter, counter hit. Looking good, looking good. So he's got to take this one without losing about 30-40%. If he, if he loses that much, he might be in a bit of trouble. It's a doable. He did it last game, but it's true. Yeah. It's definitely tough, not easy. Tough to double dip on that one. Ooh, got the knee. Oh, that no, might be no stage stalked. tech. I think that's game. That's game. Wow. Probably wanted to take the platform. Yeah, that was super nice. All right, I think I got to go play. I'm gonna hop off. Are you are you in? Yeah, I didn't enter today. Oh, okay, cool. Just came for the side bets. Nice. Can we kick it? Cool, cool. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, peace out. Later, Rob. So up next, I think we have Baba Ganoush versus Streamlord. You good? Using the box. I actually carpooled with Michael today. He said, I mean, he plays a lot of Mewtwo, as you guys probably know, but he's just kind of talking about the characters, so I don't know.